Dead Island 2 is just under a week away, so let's talk about it. I'm excited. I'm sure you guys are. Let's go to the nitty gritty and let's prepare for launch. So as we know, there are six different Slayers. Each Slayer is accompanied with specific attributes and play style. Once selected, you cannot change your Slayer once you've continued through the story. So you'd have to start over fresh and new if you don't enjoy the Slayer you chose. So be sure to look at all the Slayers and take a look at exactly what they are skilled in and specifically what their play style is all about before playing the game and starting a new save. Now, as we know, you get bitten at the beginning of the game and you are immune to the infection. This gives us the ability to have Fury Mode, which was in Dead Island 1. This time around, it's going to be a little bit different and work a little bit different than it did before, but it's still a very similar style and it's going to be a very similar skill that we are going to be able to have. This alone looks exciting. You basically turn it into an absolute killing machine, punching, clawing, and destroying everything in your path as you go. And in order to build up Fury Mode, you get it by killing zombies in rapid succession or just generally over time. Compared to the first Dead Island games, Dead Island 2's world is going to be a little bit more linear than titles previously in the series. Now we still have what we are used to. It's going to be separated by 10 different districts, each district separated by a loading screen. Once these districts are complete, you can go back at any time. You can also choose to go back and play in these districts and set the time of day. You can do night or during the day. And depending on what time you play depends on how effective and aggressive and how much more damage the zombies can do. Obviously at night zombies are going to react different. Stealth is going to be more of a priority. But the zombies will be able to do more damage. This is kind of similar to the system Dying Light has. Another huge part. And guys this is probably my favorite favorite part about this game. Is the new flesh system that has been fully introduced and created for this title. Flesh standing for fully locational evisceration system. Try to say that three times fast. I cannot do it. So basically what this system is is a gorgeous system when it comes to dismemberment and absolutely being able to obliterate every enemy in the game. It's going to render the zombies' bodies completely realistic, whether that be skin, fat, bone, everything is going to work, whether you're using slash or blunt damage. The bodies are going to react to this. We are going to see absolutely gruesome, gruesome kills and crazy, crazy dismemberment. So I'm super excited about this system. Now, for some of you guys who don't know, Dead Island 2 was announced in 2014, and we didn't hear a lot about it until about 2018. During this time, Techland was in charge of the development side for Dead Island 2. But with them having a difference in opinion on the creative route that Dead Island 2 is going, they decided to take a step back, and it was taken over by Dan Buster Studios. Now, Dan Buster Studios has worked on the game and done about 80 to 90 percent of the title and that is currently who is developing it as you guys know dead island 2's release date has jumped around a lot and it actually was supposed to release on the 28th of this month but they bumped it up to the 21st which is super exciting this is what i really wanted to say and what i really wanted to make a point on in this video this game isn't that deep this isn't a triple a story game now i'm not saying the game doesn't have depth to it i'm not saying the game doesn't have a good story but the development team has not been shy when they have showcased and explain that this game is going to be a little bit goofy, going to be weird. It's going to be a different change of pace than we've seen in most games. And this is kind of how Dead Island 1 was. This game is mainly and purely, at least in my opinion, for the satisfaction of just running around the streets of LA and just simply murdering, dismembering, and absolutely littering the streets with the abomination that is the zombie apocalypse. And this is the bread and butter of these kind of games. It's more of a hack and slash, just kind of obliterate everything in your path and have an absolutely fun fun time doing it now there is story to this game there is depth to it there are characters that will be built off of survivors that you will meet that will help you along the way but at the end of the day guys don't go into this title thinking oh i'm gonna have this crazy story it's absolutely gonna be phenomenal on a storytelling perspective that's not what this game is about and that is not what the developers have pushed this game to be this game is simply a game to go out there and have an absolute blast using numerous kinds of weapons because as you guys know weapons can break in the game so we can't just focus on using one weapon and just okay this is the weapon I'm going to use forever which I like the weapon's going to break you're going to have to transition to a different style weapon different enemy types are going to be able to be immune to blunt and slash damage so you're going to have to rework your arsenal as we know guns are also in the game they are not a huge implementation in the Dead Island series we know that these games are surrounded by combat I just want to talk about 
about these really quick and let you guys know. At the end of the day, guys, this game is just to go out there and have a mindless, beautiful time destroying everything in your path. And I'm I'm super excited about it. I'm pretty sure you guys are too if you guys have checked out this video. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you pre-ordered it. Let me know if you're going to wait for a review. If you're going to play it on launch day, I know I will. I'm super excited about it. And for everything Dead Island 2, I'm going to be working with Deep Silver. I'm super excited about this opportunity. And I'm going to be covering the game through and through. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for all things Dead Island. When it makes its debut on the 21st, we are so close to 5,000 subscribers. I would love to have you in the community. And as always, guys, stay happy, stay hyped, and have a beautiful day.